Hey, what's up trainers? Welcome to Saha Gaming. I am Saha the Martian here on the Pixel Quest server. How's it going? I hope you're doing well. I am doing just fine here, hanging out. I wanted to show you an update to what we've been doing here on the server. I was able to actually work here on the uh, first floor of our build here, the Versus Seeker Club. So we're moving along. Let's go inside. I was able to add some decorations, some carpet, uh, some signs here all over the place. I don't remember exactly how we left off on the last episode, but I'm sure we have quite a bit more now. Uh, so here on the right side, we're going to have a Pokebox, which we have a Nurse Joy here, courtesy of Mr. Envelope. He was able to get one for us here. And then we have a Shopkeeper here along with a Pokeball, courtesy of Mr. Envelope. He was able to get the Pokeball. But uh, we had hired uh, Majestic so that he can bring some Shopkeepers and other... Um, npcs to our builds uh he's gonna actually work on that so thank you majestic for bringing these shopkeepers here uh i really like this area here so as you can see we have some books bookshelves a clock some lamps the television there with the computer vending machine and obviously some chairs this is a pretty cool relaxing room little uh, rec room uh, and then if we go to the other side as you can see here we have the uh, pokeball to indicate the pokebox and then on this side, on the trading center, we have a Porygon Z. Because in the last episode, we used this trading station to evolve our Porygon. So this is a little dedication for the trading of that Porygon. Uh, and then here, we're going to have a little board. Uh, we're going to update this later on. But for right now, if anyone's looking for any specific trades, uh, you can basically just put in here, uh, type in your name, what Pokemon you're trading, and then um, or what you're looking for. And then anyone can just reply to you or look for you and whatnot, and you can figure that out. Uh, but we're going to actually change that and use mail. I just haven't really figured out the system yet. This is just a temporary area here. Uh, so I'm liking this area so far. I want to see if I can get some more carpet, some more wool, decorate it a little bit more. And as well, you may notice that the sky looks different. I'm using a sky texture pack. And then as well, uh, I'm using uh, shaders. I wanted to see uh, what the shaders will actually do to the... Uh, to the game here i'm really liking it so far it makes everything look stand out just a little bit more and a little bit brighter uh so anyway let's head back to the base we need to go to the poke lab for some stuff all right and we're here in front of the uh, pixel quest city pokemon lab so thanks to mr envelope and majestic we were able to get a couple things that we needed to complete the lab here or more or less complete it uh so here we have our scientist uh, if you talk to him, he'll actually kill your Pokemon, just like the Nurse Joy. This is the main lobby area. Uh, so right now, this is still a work in progress, but uh, we got some of the uh, basic starting things uh, done. Uh, let me see. We're going to have to work on the roof a little bit. I want to change up a couple of things, add some carpeting. We do have a nice little sitting area here, some trading stuff, computer. Uh, we have a master ball here that was originally in the back there somewhere. And then I asked Mr. Envelope if we can move it here. He said it was fine. Uh, that way we could just simulate the first starter type Pokeball thing that you choose uh, in the games or in the actual TV show. And then in the back here, we have the pictures of the starters. It's pretty cool, huh? We have Bulbasaur, Charmander, and a Pikachu, which is based on the show. Uh, we need to go and look for a Squirtle because I kind of evolved mine just for no reason. And now I really regret it because we don't have a Squirtle. <laughs> Rip. So here inside the lab, as you can see, we have a couple of scientists here, thanks to Majestic again. He was able to get some for us and uh, bring him over here with some flying machines. It was quite cool to see him do it, actually. I should have actually recorded that. I don't know why I didn't. Rip. Uh, but anyway, uh, we have the cloning machine here. We'll probably use this for uh, getting a Mew. Uh, I mean a Ditto, sorry. Uh, we still have to figure out what to put here in this area and decorate this a little bit more. But uh, for today, what we're going to do is actually focus on the second floor here, which is the fossil research area. Here's our other scientist. He's been behaving bad, so he's just in the corner. Uh, so here, we, what we're going to do is basically get some fossils. I think I have some here in this chest there. There we go. Uh, so yeah, we have 26 fossils that we can clean up, use those machines. And we have uh, a couple that have already been uncovered. I'll actually uh, Google these and see what type of uh, Pokemon we actually get. Maybe there's some new ones that I might be interested in. As well as we have some of these things. Zygarde Cube, Zygarde Core, 
So I think Druid was actually looking for some of these things. I, I didn't realize I had some of these. All right, we'll put these away. I'll, I'll ask Druid if he still wants them. I'm not sure if we're going to ever use them. Uh, but for, what I'm going to do for right now is actually just concentrate on the fossils. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to redecorate this area here. I know it desperately needs some decoration. But uh, we'll probably just get working that in a bit. So uh, just give me a couple minutes and uh, we'll try to get some fossils going. Hopefully we get a, an Aerodactyl. Which is your favorite fossil Pokemon? Let me know down in the comments down below. Alright, let's see if we can get it. So it turns out I read this wrong and we actually need to break these blocks. I had Silk Touch them. So let's see. We get a covered fossil root. What's this? Covered fossil, claw fossil, root fossil. Alright. And armor fossil. So I'm just going to break these remaining 22 and hopefully we get some decent ones. Alright, so here we are. Let's see what we got. And, ooh, we got an old amber. Nice. That's what we wanted. Plume, root, claw, armor, covered, helix, dome. I think the original ones are the dome and the helix. So we're definitely going to want to do that. And let me see. Claw, armored. All right. This is cool. I think there's some here that I don't really recall. So we'll have to look these up. All right, so we have our three fossils. We're going to start out with the amber fossil or old amber. Uh, I think we just put them in the fossil machine here. Oh, cool. All right. So jaw fossil and then don't fossil. Cool. Uh, so uh, Nitty came by and we were doing some trade. He was actually um, looking for a Cosmog and we basically traded him one for a Suicune. He had a runt one, which was pretty cool. And we have done it. All right. Check this out. <laughs> it's been, I don't know how long since I've actually done this. Probably a couple of years. But insert Pokeball. We have three. Uh, <laughs> I can't even speak right now. Three fossil Pokemon. So let's use our Moon Ball because the Moon Ball is my favorite Pokeball. Did we just right click on it? Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Retrieve Pokemon. Okay. Moon Ball. Moon ball. Whoa, this is so cool. Take a screenshot here. <laughs> uh, that's so awesome. All right, so let's retrieve our Aerodactyl or Pterodactyl. Aerodactyl. All right, it's a male one. We have a male Kabuto and a male Tyrant. Cool. Let's check their IVs out. Okay, so their IVs weren't that good, but who cares? We got a, a pterodactyl, aerodactyl. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, rock head protects the Pokemon from recoil damage. Cool. What? Iron head, ice fang, thunder fang, supersonic? <gasps> what? All right, this is my... It's a pygmy? This has become my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> Well, we got to get you to level 100. I wish you had an evolve form. Wow. This is so awesome. All right. Kabuto. Swift Swim. Harden. Scratch. And you're a quiet small one. Okay. Tyrant. A dragon rock Pokemon. Cool. Tail Whip. Tackle. It's a small jolly one. Is that what we want? I don't know, but it's a dragon type. 
That's my specialty, right? <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, I can't believe we got a cool uh, pterodactyl. Aerodactyl. <laughs> oh, man, this is awesome. All right, so here we got round two. We need some Pokeballs. Put the Moonball here for the Ammonite. We got one here for this Archon and Cranidos. Let's see if I got the names right. <laughs> yeah, Cranidos, Ammonite, and Archon. <laughs> Let's see, Jolly, Hasty, and Mild. And so far, it looks like Aerodactyl was one of the best moves. All right, so we have all our fossil Pokemon. Uh, I think I'm gonna choose two of these guys. Let's get, let's hop on out of here. We're just taking a little break. Uh, I ended up taking some pictures of the ones that we've got here. As you can see, Aerodactyl, Tyrant, uh, some others here, which I can't remember their names. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do, uh, maybe off camera, is just decorate this whole area here. I'm thinking about changing the second floor to having spruce, uh, uh, spruce floors. Or maybe even the sec the first floor as well, but I'm not really sure just yet. Uh, so here we have three more um, fossil Pokemon here. Uh, I'm going to leave them there because I think they look kind of neat. Uh, just standing out there as displays. Which gives me an idea. I'm thinking about just moving all the fossil displays down here. Uh, we can have them in this corner possibly. Which means we'll need to move this reassembly unit, which I'm not really sure what it's for. Uh, we'll move that somewhere else. And then we can just have more uh, Pokemon stuff here. Uh, fossil Pokemon stuff that is and then here I'm gonna fix it so that we can have a Pokebox and maybe another Pokemart so I'll have to have Majestic come by and give, get us a, a Nurse Joy and then also a, a Shop Guy and we are back here in the Pokelab check it out I've done a little bit of decorating uh, basically just put more lights in all over the place a little bit of carpeting here and uh, basically I need to fix this area still to add the shopping uh, uh, the Pokeball guys and the Nurse Joy but uh, I think it's coming along just nice. We still got to change the floor. I think maybe spruce wood, uh -oh, spruce wood will be better. Uh, so anyway, uh, what we got here is just the uh, Pokemon here. The uh, fossil things that we got so far. I ended up adding a couple more down to the bottom here. As you can see, we're kind of making some more. <laughs> uh, they're um, a work in progress, basically. So I put basically the most dinosaur looking Pokemon here. As you can see, we got the Cranidos and the Tyrant. And then we have, what is this? I don't even remember, a Shield Gun and something else. And then here the Archen. Oh, I remember now. I want to put a um, Pterodactyl here. I keep calling it Pterodactyl. Aerodactyl is what I mean. Uh, so what we're going to do right now is actually put a Helix Fossil maybe here. And then the Dome Fossil here. And then these will be available. Uh, basically, we can probably sell these too. Like, if any of the players want to actually buy some of these fossils from us, they can just come over here, uh, pay us whatever we need, and then they can just come grab one. That's kind of cool. Or we can just give them away to new players. Uh, so anyway, we still got to work here, uh, but I'm really excited and happy about the uh, Pokelab working just fine. Um, I did go looking for some, uh, what do you call it, fossils here. Let me get a stack or half a stack here. What I'm going to do is open these up. I'm hoping to get another uh, Amber. And uh, hopefully we can get one so that we can put one over here. Uh, and get another uh, Pterodactyl. Aerodactyl. Why do I keep calling it Pterodactyl? <laughs> Rip. Okay, so we got some Dome Fossils. Alright, I mean Old Amber. Sorry about that. Uh, I did break a lot of those uh, blocks. And it turns out the Silk Touch does work on them. I didn't know that. And I was able to get a few uh, Fossils here. We still have to clean all of these up. But anyway, we got our old Amber. Let's pop that in here. We're going to get an Aerodactyl pretty soon. 
Uh, so next up, uh, what I have planned here is I do have one more of these fossil machine things that we can craft. I was thinking of placing one somewhere so that we can actually have it be a multiple use. Maybe we can place it over here sometime. Uh, but for right now, I think I'm just going to leave it here in this chest. And uh, the old amber, we're just going to take care of these. Um, I really like Aerodactyl. Hopefully we can get a female one with good IVs and we can um, basically breed them. I think you can breed these. I'm not sure, but I hope you can. Uh, so right now what I'm going to do is take a quick little break. I'm going to level up three of these uh, Pokemon. As, as you already seen, I have, let me see, um, we have Tyrant here. Oh, he has Pokeras, all right. And then we have a uh, Aerodactyl here. So I'm going to choose one more so we can have three uh, fossil Pokemon. Let me know which one you think I'll pick down in the comments below. Be sure to type that in right now. Is it a dome fossil? I mean, a Kabuto? Is it an Ammonite? What could it be? What will be the third uh, choice here? Uh, put it down in the section. Uh, we're going to go down right now and do a little Pokeball Master Loot run. And uh, wish me luck. We're going to get some good loot, hopefully. All right, and we're back here in front of the Poke Lab. We have our three Pokemon. I was able to level them up to level 50, so all right, thanks to me. <laughs> so here we go. These are the ones that I chose to use for fossil Pokemon. We have our Aerodactyl, pretty cool. Next, we have our Tyrant. What's this guy called? Tyrantrum. This one's a small one, and look how big he is. This is insane. I can only imagine what a huge or enormous one will look like. And then finally, our third one is this little guy here, Aurorus. Aurorus? Aurorus? Uh, this one I think is a pygmy. It's pretty cool. I've never seen this Pokemon before. It's pretty awesome. Uh, so I'm quite happy with this pick here so far. Uh, they look pretty cool. Let me see. I think they also match up with, uh, with their teams. Let me see. We have Supersonic here. So, uh, physical attacks. Next, we have this other guy with physical attacks. Earthquake, Stealth Rock's pretty cool. Stealth Rock mixed with uh, Dragon Tail is pretty cool. And along with uh, Super Sonic's also good because that makes your opponent uh, be confused. Then we have Hail and Thunder Wave, which we can uh, take, make our opponents that are not ice take damage every turn. And then Thunder Wave makes them so that they can't move in case they're messed up. Uh, and then also Super Sonic's another thing. So these three guys, I think they're pretty neat. I mean, we probably could replace Aerodactyl with a more defense type creature, but uh, I'm kind of happy with this pick so far. Uh, yep, so this is our... <laughs> Look at them. They're so happy. They just want to be following me around. Okay, so let's go back inside the lab here. I don't think I've made any more changes, but we're just going to close this and log out here. I did try getting some more Pokemon or some more of these uh, fossils. As you can see, we got all these guys all set up here. I put this gun here instead of the Aerodactyl. I moved the Aerodactyl down to this side. And then we basically have our fossil cleaners down here. Some more fossils there. And then the ones that can be uh, put into the machines. So this is pretty much it for today. Um, I did kind of wanted a battle, but uh, we don't have anyone logged in right now to do a level 50 battle. So we'll probably save that for next time or possibly for the V Seekers uh, Cloud. So guys, if you have enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that like button. 
It helps uh, basically the video reach out any more people that want to see this type of content. Be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what's your favorite fossil type Pokemon and what you enjoyed or disliked about this episode. That way I can work on future episodes on this. So once again, thank you for watching here on the Pixelmon server. This is the Pixel Quest server hosted by Mr. Envelope. There will be links down in the description below so you can check out Mr. Envelope's channel. He's the other person that records here. As well as check out his Patreon in case you want to come and hang out in the uh, server here. And just hang out, do some battles and any Pokemon related activities. So until next time, see you here in Saha Gaming Trainers. Bye bye. Meow, meow.